And suddenly we're live on the internet. Oh. And uh, we're not going to do the intro. Oh, should we do the intro? Oh, I should probably switch over to the intro. Oh, internet special guest. We got a special guest and I don't know. Oh, people are already in the chat. Smooth. All right. Hold on. Internet. Yeah. Did you get it? Did you get the internet? We're skipping the intro because we're way late. We had to sit in traffic. We had to sit in traffic forever. Uh, we had to say hi to Punky Pam. First one to the chat. Congratulations, winner. Punky Pam. Winner. What did you win? Chicken dinner? Yes. Winner, winner. Mm -hmm. Chicken dinner. All right. Um, as you guys can see, uh, and I did this backwards yet again, even though I said I wasn't going to do it backwards. I have to do it like this. I have to point away from Corey uh, in order to point at him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's confusing. Uh, but uh, Corey's here with us. We uh, fought the, what is it? The good fight? Is it the good fight that we fought? The traffic battle in order to get back down here? And then over, over half a car length at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mind-bending traffic jam that we had to deal with, uh, not only to get up there, but to get back down. Uh, but Corey, you're down here to get pick up the super cross-country van. Super van. Yeah. Super super van. super van. Supposedly, it looks like it has been lifted because of all the uh, helper leaf springs. And then I have a picture of these things that look like they should be giant struts and springs, like on a four x four truck, but oh. they can handle the weight. I have to look this way. So, so it looks like I'm looking right. at you. Yeah. Don't look at me, look down. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. He's talking. Yes, okay. Yeah. Make it look uh, like it's legit. So yeah. I gotta, I gotta talk to the wall. So today, those of you that are here for the video clip, there is no video clip in the middle. Oh, just me. Oh, sadness. But We're we do so have quiet. a but we do have a special guest, so um, that works. Is Corey quiet? Or they say no audio. Uh oh. Could be things happening. Uh oh, no audio. Yeah, yeah, everything's all right. We'll turn Corey's mic up a little Crank bit. Crank it up. Uh, we'll turn that down and we'll turn that up. All right, all right how's that? Better. Let us know. What the? Oh, <laughs> I've got you on. on. I've got you on channel three. That's why. Ooh. Hold on a second. Let's mute that one and let's turn Corey's mic up and unmute it. Can you can you hear me now? Can you hear me, can now? me now? That means I didn't hear my rad beats on the internet intro. Aww. Oh. Trust me, guys. It was really, really good. You just okay. couldn't hear it. It was really good, though. Uh, let's see. Your center panned. We got a. Let's see. Hold on. I can't see. Blame Jimmy. I like Jewel. this already. Yes, Jimmy's fault. Even when he's not in charge. I'm like all the way back here. Too. Did you share us around the internet? Yes. All right. Word. And we went all the way sharing to the internet. Yes. There we go. How's that? I think everybody's on a mic now. And mic check, mic check. Yep, there you go. The <laughs> levels are showing up. No wonder. I was wondering why they were showing up. I think this mic was picking you up a little bit. I am um, allowed to. And that's you. why you were showing up on there. I'm like, it seems like he's quiet, but yes. I don't know. Maybe he's just faint, faint of voice today. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. All right, so that seems to be working. And hopefully that in. camera over there. Hold on. Yeah, over do there. Do this each time. Just do two, like... You know, over there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll hold up. We'll see how long it holds up. It might. It might catch on fire. If it does catch on fire, uh, Jimmy will. I'm sure. Get a shot of it. It's got to happen. If we're it, actually, this we're thing explodes right and I so freak out. Filming, oh, so you film? We're being filmed while we film. We're filming while we're filming, and mm -hmm. then we time lapse this later. Yes. So that upload, and then and you can change the voiceover, right? That's right. We can and then you be like, so you can hear my rad beats, and then you could. What was it that pissed off people the other day? I think it was I was talking about Everything you do? farting in a jar, I believe, is what... And selling it. Was, and selling it yeah. is what Apparently, pissed people off. anything goes on your channel except for that. That, people right. are... Mm, no. No, Joel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, special surprises in the background! I've seen you! <laughs> it's scary around here. You gotta watch out. You gotta... <laughs> We always got the creepy Vicky ghost in the background. She had a fantastically hard day at work today, and uh, we are happy that she survived it. I would say um, my day is hard, too. It's not every day I have to sit in traffic. So, yeah. to be fair, my day is pretty easy. Normally. It's not the funnest thing. It's not... I I get your, like... I was like, yeah, you should come up. And you're always like, it's going to take me, like, a week. 
And it kind of did take like a week. Cause I'm always like, he's just being a baby. It takes like an hour and a half. And it took like two hours. But sitting in it was worse than... Right. Like tomorrow, it, I'll still think you're, you're well, he, you know, like, oh, just come on out. Quit being a baby. That's but the thing. During that, it. I mean, if, if we can schedule a day that I got to come up, then that will happen in the in the future. Um, one of the big issues is, is that uh, it does take the whole day. Yeah, that's, it that's was, the thing. We definitely is that, put like, a whole day in if to I do have, two live streams. Right, to do two, to do two <laughs> one-hour live streams is going to encompass 12 to 13 you hours. You breakfast at about 10 a.m., which yeah. means you probably left your house at about 8 a.m. Well, look, yeah, it was a little bit earlier than that. It was probably like 7.30, and then I got stuck over there, and then I got stuck over there, and then I got stuck. You yeah, know, it's like you, you progressively, like, it's very odd traffic flow because, like, all of a sudden you go 60 miles an hour, or like 80 really because everyone's like oh we can go fast now yeah and then it slows down to to four mm-hmm. and then you kind of go like all right and then uh, a big tanker truck cuts you off at one and one half miles an hour and the worst and part like, is when the tanker truck cuts like, you off it's three car lengths which is literally <laughs> 17 minutes worth of travel you just lost <laughs> yeah. it's not like, it's like oh just let them in how much you distance 20 minutes your how much life distance did bus. i just lose yeah. right yeah you let one bus or one yeah. tanker in and you lose 20 minutes of your life all right so it's let's see good. here uh i gotta figure out i gotta hook up another screen so if jimmy's down here again he can read the chat, oh, <laughs> chat for Jimmy. us <laughs> It's like Jimmy can read it. That's from how his helpful. Phone, right? That's how I'm helpful it is. Oh, Jimmy's playing with gadgetry. Oh, Jimmy's just playing with. <laughs> he's stuff. got a camera, which on does a, work. A tripod connected to his phone that he's controlling with a remote control. Just right. because why? Because Jimmy can. Because you can. He yeah. could hold it, but no, no, no. Oh, watch this. Well, it's just. I'm it's that. honestly a smart play, really. You know, just to show off to people like the yeah. stuff that you can do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and uh, I keep him around to make Eric good. gone mad with the super chat. Thank you very much, man. I, I appreciate it. It all goes back into apparently my gas Corn tank dogs. in order to drive yes. up, up and down the I, I honestly up and down so the I-5 when I corridor. got here, we got to use carpool. So we saved like a cool four minutes and we beat him. And I texted him to ask him where it was because I was thinking I should go get gas. I was right. That's what I was going to do. I was like, that took a long time. I should go get gas because I know I'm going to need gas to get home. So, but luckily you arrived shortly afterward. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't that far behind. I did manage to take a shortcut that did not feel like a shortcut at all. Um, although I guess if there's a story to be had that you guys weren't involved in was that I, on my shortcut, I was going down. If anybody who's local, you know, the Mercer triangle of Madden traffic madness. Uh, I got stuck down there for a minute and I met a, I guess fairly like a train hobo kind of guy. How you met this person? Yeah. You didn't I, just like awkwardly make eye contact through the glass. You no, know, I was, was so like, much in traffic. I was so much in traffic that he just walked up to my truck and he just, mm. you know, he gave me that look like, hey, man, I like the cut of your jib. I'm going to come give you some secrets. And I was like, well, this is going to happen. I'm either going to get you can't really go anywhere. I mean, they're going to get stabbed or something good's going to happen. Well, luckily, the good thing happened because he, he comes up and he goes, yeah, man, I just walked four blocks all the way down that way. None of these cars is moving. You should turn around and go back the other way. And I was like, I like your style, guy. Wow. I'm, I'm doing that. And so I turned around and like went up around the other way. And I was like, well, that worked out. That worked out all right. Because if it was me, I would be the classic office space. <laughs> you just like, roll the loud. window up slowly. <laughs> yeah. And just be like, okay. Which is why you're supposed to listen to death metal like really loud. Right? Yeah. In Something your car? scary. Until they're yeah. like, I love that tune. And then they're like, you know, can I get in? Yeah, I guess. Um, so let's see. Eve Daigle's here. What's up, Eve? Good to see you, Carson. Uh, Eve, yeah, I was watching when Corey channel when he said... I didn't uh, bring any fish. He told 200 people to come tonight. Yeah. Do we have more than four people? Uh, I think we have more than four. I can count four. Yeah, there's more than four. Good. We're yeah. doing okay, then. Well, we're doing fine. Yeah. yeah. That's really my cutoff point. If there's under five... Under five is where you're like... Mm. Like, I'll probably just go take a nap. If, you know? if So the people have to outnumber the dogs. The dogs and the humans in the... In the I think that's the your new metric. Ooh, you're going to add that in? So you got to... I gotta have to have more people on the live stream than a chickens. Okay. Yeah, because I have five chickens, so that's, I can still count to five. All right. Uh, one of the... Um, one of our local raccoons decided to... Um, yes. Uh, borrow one of their... 
I called it Lions. a garbage panda, but I was corrected by trash Toria. trash panda. Yes. Yeah, not Tra- gar. Like, I was like, okay, whoa, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got a trash panda. Uh, every once in a, a trash panda situation, every once in a while, that's mm-hmm. for sure. The Corvus Co-op. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Co-op. Corvop. Uh, Eve Daggle says, 60 watching now. We normally have 24. Hey, that's uh, something. I'm sure I'll talk about certain things in the future that will probably send them on down their road, right? Yeah. Is it, you know, not not to be uh, self-deprecating, but that's just the reality of the thing. I, I do a thing <laughs> here that is... You either love it or you hate it. Yeah. You, I obviously love it. You, you like I it? Mean, I, I, I <laughs> dig it pretty hard enough that I'm willing to do it earlier today, and that wasn't enough, so that I'm willing to drive through two hours of traffic to do it again. That's right. Which I, I will do this again, too. That's the thing. Like If I don't have to go next week, I should find a way that I have to end up here once a week, which sounds horrible. but Well, we could probably figure out how to do that. I mean, you know. There is technology in the world. Yeah, but uh, we saw how technology technicalties earlier. I just, I well, I mean, uh, maybe I'll get a jetpack, you know, because I'm still waiting on the jetpack. It's going to be, everyone just thought that was kind of cool and nerdy, but it's going to be one of those water ones where you're like bound to the water. So you're like, dang right. it, you can't only <laughs> yeah. go this far. Yeah. yeah, you can only go, you go 60 feet that direction. It's yeah. really you're exciting. You're tethered to everything. It's like yeah. really exciting for 60 feet. Yep. And then you're pretty much done. It doesn't seem like a very effective form of travel. I don't know. No, that's why that's <laughs> the one you get. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, get yeah. back. You're like, no, this one. I, could. I just it stay. takes more time to put the suit on than it would be to walk the 60 right. feet. Right. I just stay. Yeah. This is where I'm at doing mm-hmm. tricky maneuvers. Uh, Potato with the super chat. My one and only chat for the day. Got to go to work. Sarah says hi. Well, Hello, Potato. Those of you that have been following the channel here, seen Potato uh, Bro, Potato Bro, Potato Bra, and Sarah. You guys have seen them both. Uh, that was the probably the most catastrophic live stream of them all. Oh, that look! That camera's getting hot. It's starting to glitch now. <laughs> or is that? Just, what if I just started doing that? I, my whole goal was to sabotage you. And I just start like twitching. You're like the just, camera again. He's been electrocuted. Yeah. Uh, but don't worry, we do have a uh, we do have a, an evacuation plan in effect. So if there are any firemen watching, don't worry, we're uh, completely safe. I've got it written down here. Chicken Hold on, run. what does it say? Just get out of the house. <laughs> it's hard trap. to read. It's something really about, difficult to read. Trap door. It's really difficult to read, but I'm going out that window. That's my plan. Um, and Stephen Scoglin with the super chat, he figured it out. Uh, got to do this Corvus uh, co-op more. Oh right, yeah, that's what you were talking about. I'm like. We'll double well, up Jimmy here. Jimmy brought it up, and I just right. assumed Jimmy knows what's going on. Jimmy does know Jimmy what's going on. Jimmy usually knows what's yeah. going on. So, so that, that does work. I trust him with my going on knowledge. Um, as you guys know, when I'm, I'm here and uh, focused, I normally give a shout out to everybody that's here. So don't feel left don't feel, out. Don't uh, feel left out, don't feel left out if, yeah. I, if I'm missing out on, on saying what's up. Well, I got to do 20 push ups. Who's got to do 20 push ups? They want me to do 20 push ups. I don't know. Just for what? Have you seen his calves? He can do it easily. That's right. <laughs> Well, that's the go. Like, Jimmy doesn't do push up. He pushes the earth away. That's right. Yeah. 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 We need to start, like, some kind of Chuck Norris spinoff for Jimmy. Right. Just turn him into this superhuman. And that my favorite part about the inside jokes, at least on my channel, is the people that come in six months down the road just think I'm insane. And everyone around them totally gets it. And right. so then it's even more I, – I feel like it's got to be a Twilight world, like – why is everything about tacos and don't get them started? And, you know, they're just they're totally lost. But then eventually after like a week and a half, they catch on and they're like, oh, I'm in that group now. Some people <laughs> catch on. Yeah. And then other people's like, this is dumb. This is weird. Yeah. But generally, those are just the people that need a nap. You know, I mean, they should just go lay down, take a nap, reconnoiter, that, that <clears throat> reconnoiter is, their mind, bring themselves back to. That's uh, the Joel live stream for me. That's like the my Zen time is. I'm not napping, but I'm so like here you've got a bunch of screens and this is the biggest compliment I can pay someone. You take up an entire screen. Like so I'm usually I'm like this, I'm like and not doing work, which my wife can't even get that kind of attention most of the time. You know, it's like, well, I'm trying to work. That's a- <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I got deadlines. Don't you, don't you understand that I'm very busy? Yeah. And so But you, you know, have to throw the deer at the end. That's the real trick. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> deer. I'm just busy right now, honey. <laughs> Dear. Honey, sweetie. Yeah. Listen to me when I'm talking to you. I'm oh, sorry. A man's talking right now. <laughs> oh, no. Right? Yeah. 
She would you just, just like punch me in the throat. It's not yeah, it's not gonna work. You get you get like we like to uh, commonly refer to around here as karate punched, yeah. um, which is a combination of uh, jujitsu, karate, and uh, sort of just a straight fist. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm not the one dishing those out. I'm the ones normally just handling uh, taking them. You know because that's a uh, yeah, it's just how it works. Most of the punishment comes from Sassy the Destroyer, that little <laughs> right. that little dog that you were warned about at the door, and then it's in the backyard. Don't move; it can't see you because she's half blind. As long as you don't move, you're invisible to her. Right. Well, it's when you move, you're that shadow that she must destroy. And uh, yeah, she even chases me down when when my wife gets around. Me. Oh, uh, hold on, Dave. Dave Santilli, the Santilli Lace, got a pretty face, got a bony tail, just hanging down, right? Uh, it says, new to the channel, haven't had to watch any of your videos. 30-second description of what you're about. Ready, go. I'll do it. Chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Yes. Talking about nonsense. Mm-hmm. Occasional fish stuff. Art. Yes. Uh, hiking. Sometimes I go up in the mountain. Every once in a while I catch a fish when I go to the mountain. I bite its face off. No, I normally put it back. Being ridiculous. Uh, being ridiculous and doing stuff. We got the dogs here. We got all sorts of stuff. Does that work? Is that 30 seconds? I don't know. I would say so. Surprises. No. You definitely got to have some surprises. You got to yeah. surprises, some strong jujitsu. Laid back. Any, some construction. Almost anything goes. Yeah. I do have a little description video on the uh, the main page here uh, if you want to go watch no that. You those. could do that. I'm going to watch. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to make a new one that involves karate punching and me asking questions of, hey, man, have you ever thought about leopards? Wearing spandex that's leopard print. That's deep. Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, which will probably scare off even more people, which is fine. I don't know. That's yeah. just reality. We have a we have a close-knit group here where we do the uh, Monday through Friday, typically 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. live stream uh, with a video segment in the middle. So if um, I know that it, it seems confusing, and it is confusing. Uh, but eventually, you just get into a rhythm. It's not confusing. It's you get different. into a rhythm of showing up. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's not confusing. It's just different. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the people that come on here uh, have uh, uh, sort of know what it's all about. But I like to do this live show where people can come on, ask questions, stuff like that. Um, you can always email them into me. Uh, but one of the ways that you can do that is going to darkstararts.com, or you can go over to the Patreon, become a patronizer. And you can get the email and all that kind of stuff. You can send in questions. Uh, you could become a patronizer at the $100 level, and I'll actually make a video about something that you may or may not be interested in doing. Uh, this, uh, this is all fan-funded. This whole thing is fan-funded. We're trying to – our current goal is to eliminate all of the, uh, the uh, well, realistically bullshit advertising that, that comes up. I forgot. Uh, fed in. Yeah. Well, yeah. We we can swear here a little bit. We don't yeah. we don't get egregious. We don't get uh, goofy in the chat where we just, just start yelling at people and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, name namely just like incidental swearing is not mm-hmm. really a big deal. But um, uh, so maybe this isn't a, a cool channel for your kids necessarily. You might want some headphones. Maybe, but that's what uh, makes it. Yeah. Maybe uh, twelve and up. Refreshing, I think, is that we don't we get to play by a little bit different rules. Right. Talk about farts in a jar. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm one of those guys that have uh, I, I I ain't got no strings on me. If that makes sense. I'm like uh, what is that? Pinocchio. You can't tell me what to do. Became a real boy. Yeah. I ain't got no strings. Uh, so because mainly because this is fan funded, one of the whole reasons for that is I'm not pandering to any of those companies that send me free stuff. Uh, if they do send me free stuff, I'll post. Uh, I'll let you guys know my honest review of it, uh, along all those kinds of things. Uh, if I find a product that I'm using along uh, a lot of lines, I do a lot of construction stuff. I do a lot of art. Uh, I set up a lot of fish tanks and stuff like that. So if I find stuff that I don't like, I will let you know that it sucks. Um, Kids are welcome here, but just as I've said before, I've gotten emails and stuff like that because I said shit or whatever, uh, and somebody's grandma or something was watching, and they got yeah. upset for it. But uh, it's not malicious or anything along those lines. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm almost 40 years old, so it's, I don't it's really... It's no different than overhearing something in public anyway. Right. You know? And let's also bear in mind that Game of Thrones is the most popular show. I've never seen it. Oh, you've never seen it? No, not I've never let me even give seen you a, a clip. Let me give you a quick rundown. I it was described to me by an employee. Everybody dies, everybody has sex, and everybody swears for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I, the most popular I told show an around. I had to compete against Game of Thrones, and that's you, why we changed you the could Saturdays. Say, you could say Game of Thrones 
Or you could say like Walking Dead. Have you seen The Walking Dead? I, I saw yeah. like the first X like, amount of seasons before. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin for everyone, but when that crazy guy that was like running the town decided to come back and storm the jail, and I was like, no, that just wouldn't happen. You already lost your entire army and all your people, and now you're just a one man. Like, oh, now I could take it over. I was like, nope done i will wait till every season is done and i will netflix my way through this whole thing because i am tired of taking it one portion one week at a time so they, they lost me there and i don't even know if it's over yet but when it is i will spend two days if it gets better and binge watch through it otherwise they will have lost me forever it is a uh, it is a fantastic show honestly and that went right i that really water went down I, the wrong <laughs> was it, was there a fart on top of that water? It is in a jar. Oh, somebody farted in this jar. Gotcha. And I drank down out of wrong, it. It went down the wrong yeah. windpipe. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Joel Gillett with the uh, with the super chat uh, support here at the uh, Patreon. Yeah. So the uh, a lot of people are confused what the Patreon's all about and that kind of stuff. Is that it's it's basically a monthly. Um, it's a monthly way to support. They basically charge you once at the end of the month, whatever number you want to, um, whatever number you want to donate to doing the production whatever of the stuff. Whatever it's worth to you. That's that's what right. I like the most is, depending on your income level and stuff like that, what enjoyment do you get? So it's kind of like I think about it this way. This is how I actually think about it. And it's going to sound weird because I donate, in my opinion, a decent amount, uh, but it's like someone puts out the next blockbuster movie and you get to donate like you get to go i would pay five dollars to see that and the next guy goes well i'd pay 23 dollars and it's a star wars movie and the next guy goes i'd pay 172 because i'm a star wars nerd and that's kind of what i'm doing is i'm going i really enjoy what he's doing because he's doing something that no one else is doing like i can go watch a different podcast or something but they don't know anything about aquariums the fact that it keeps getting brought up so i enjoy it at the 250 fifty dollar level mostly because that's the kind of i would have to spend that on entertainment to actually get me out of working so i'd have to spend a lot of money i'd have to be like a dinner with the wife and go out and do all that kind of stuff and so i feel like i'm getting a bargain five times a week i get an hour of entertainment and you look at that and you go well that's 20 hours i'm really paying about 12 dollars an hour to get that you couldn't hire another human being to be like hey i want you to entertain me for an hour every day for twelve dollars <laughs> for twelve dollars yeah yes. i've it's got a, it's a bargain i've got twelve dollars american or you know in gillett's in gillett's yeah. uh example here he's got new zealand dollars so that's got to actually and i uh, realize that sounds crazy it gets one, converted I'm it gets on, converted and it becomes even crazier yeah but, i'm on the show and that's a lot of money but not everyone has to do that you could totally be like yeah i totally get five bucks a month you know, and at that point you're paying like 25 cents an episode or it's something. It's basically 25 cents an episode. Yeah, because yeah. I do five a week plus extra stuff that does come up. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you think about it, it's like it's 20 hours of uh, of produced stuff that I come on here and uh, and do. So uh, for some maybe, people it's maybe. a good deal. And I've also had the, the, the conversation with a lot of people are like, hey, look, I'm uh, I don't have any money. I'm I'm I'm. I'm 15 or something or whatever and it's like uh, a big part of that is actually just being the community like the free the free way to do it is just come on here chat uh, you can you know send in questions you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and all that kind of stuff that's also contributing too so it's all everyone has their little niche to be part of the community um, I know that there have been a few people that are like well Corey just gets to the front of the line because he gives you all this money and da, 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 da. it's like yeah, but Corey is also a part of my local community. It's not that it's not necessarily that he's like just buying his way to the front of the line. Corey has been contributing locally for a really long time. So, um, you know, for instance, if you go to the GSAS, the Greater Seattle Aquarium Society, like he was there doing a presentation on Tuesday, and I've mm -hmm. I'd seen many presentations from him in the past, uh, and along those along those lines, he's definitely been a big part of the Western Washington here. Uh, and the community and all that kind of stuff. So maybe he gets, if, may, if maybe some the people rumors. have the, maybe some people have the perception that it's like, oh, he's just paying and gets to the front of the line. Um, unfortunately, it's actually his effort over a really long period of time is why he gets to the front of the line. So it's, uh, it's really easy for regular people to get to the front of the line just by doing effort realistically yeah, doing projects stars. participation, doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All that stuff really counts to me uh, as a person. Um, that stuff really counts, and uh, 
uh, makes a lot of sense. You know, for instance, you know, Carson's one of our moderators here. Potato is one of our moderators here. I know those guys in person and we've definitely, uh, they've gone out of their way. I've gone out of my way to not only visit and do that kind of stuff, but to help each other out and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, Carson was here raiding my plumbing last night because he needed some help uh, getting the rest of his tank done. You know, and we're just a bit of a, a local community. So that's why some of those people get to the front. Um, so anybody out there that's really offended that maybe lives in random country? Thailand? Thailand? Yep. That's not necessarily what it's all about. Because uh, Joel Gillett's one of our contributors here, and he lives in freaking New Zealand. And that is across a gigantic body of water. Uh, so mad props I think to those guys. And it, hopefully that's like a, a reasonable explanation. Show if that up makes and sense. participate. I think right. that's... And the same thing, the same thing for me, that's why I kick money. I contribute money to people, um, you know, whether it be two bucks, three bucks, five bucks or whatever, just an innocuous to me of going like, oh, hey, man, I've watched uh, like who's a who's a good uh, channel like Steam Font, like Steam Font Aquatics. Yeah. Like I'll go watch there like, hey, I'll just throw him two bucks because it's like I was here for an hour. And it, like you said, if I was going to go see a movie, it would have cost $40 for me to go yeah. to a movie. I got to drive there. I got to park there. Yeah, I live in a great part of the world where you got to pay to park for your car. Mm -hmm. um, you got to pay to park. Then you got to get in there. And then it's like popcorn, maybe. I don't know. Oh, man. It's happening. Gummy bears. You know what I'm saying? Gummy <laughs> bears. Maybe some uh, maybe some the Reese's. The $6 maybe box some Reese's. of gummy bears. <laughs> right. It's like this big. <laughs> you know, and the, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so that's the way that I look at it. Yeah. And it, I want to be clear. It's not like a giant sales pitch, but it is one of those things that if you're in a position to pay for what you enjoy, which to be fair, to be 100% honest, five, six years ago, I was not in that position. I was a lowly fish store employee barely making ends meet right. and there's no way I could have funded that but I was still active in my like Bear Sea Aquarium Society you know being a participant means a ton and then like right now I have so little time that monetary is actually easier for me to show appreciation like you know people don't realize that but for me to like come down here is actually harder than just like handing out money you know because I can like order more buttons do more things put more stuff on sale and probably make that up um so yeah, do what you can, <clears throat> whether it's sharing or even just showing up, showing up and answering a question, posing a question mm. that makes it easy. Cause I've been on live streams where there's like six people and no one's asking a question. You're like, so what we doing? Yeah, it's like, what's, <laughs> what's happening here? Um, and generally speaking, like the show that I set up, I, I'm the kind of person that can come on here and just talk for an hour. You know I mean? I, yeah. not that, not that that's like zero effort for me. It is. I definitely get to a point where I'm 40 minutes in. If I just started talking about nothing, I start to struggle. So I do prep and get ready. Um, like I said, there's a, generally speaking, there's a, uh, from the title, there'll be a, like a 10 minute video segment where we can actually talk about it. I can stop it, pause it, go back, answer questions, that kind of stuff. So um, there is a lot of work that goes into this. Um, but um, I guess ultimately my point is, is that there is a lot of prep time and a lot of stuff like that. And if, you know, the people that are super chatting right now, like Eric Gone Mad, uh, Potate Bro, uh, Steven Scogland, and Joel Gillett, um, then that's all that money goes back into here to doing prep and doing more stuff and doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's not necessarily necessary. And yeah, that's like, like you were saying, just to try and stay away from the sales pitch is like, it's not a sales pitch. It's just what one of the things that we're working on. Um, and for some people out there, um, a lot of people have, have found the easy way to contribute is that if you go to Dark Star Arts, you can click through the Amazon banner there. And you just the stuff you're going to buy at Amazon, if you click go through that before, it just says that we sent you, if that makes I, sense. I did that once this week. So that means you get to guess what I you, – you can see, like, what they order. But I'll say this. I took the time. I had to disable ad block on your site just so I could see the banner. Because for a long time, you're saying, it's on the banner. I'm like, this guy's nuts. There's no banner. There's no banner. And then here. finally yeah. one day, I'm like – you know what? I'm probably not even seeing the banner. Right. And then I was like, oh, yeah. that's me. Well, yeah, because actually the, the, the banner on Dark Star Arts, Dark Star Arts is my website. So there really isn't anything malicious there or any of that kind of stuff. Um, it, there's nothing malicious there. So it's like, like you were saying that the banner is easily blocked by ad block. Yeah. It, like it, it doesn't have so any, I never like, knew it was there. <laughs> I can get through it. You yeah. know, it's just like, 
there's a banner here. If you have ad block on, you won't be able to see it. So um, we have a lot of people like Jennifer J. Sarchicino, uh, who order, orders a lot of her like groceries and stuff like that. Nice. And believe it or not, like those two ninety nine, one ninety nine, four ninety nine kind of things that you order from Amazon are incredibly helpful because um, it just tells Amazon like, look people are buying X amount of items and to them that's really important and it's to me it's this it's the same way it's important where like you know uh, people come and watch on YouTube it's like the one person to YouTube like from YouTube's perspective if one person watches your video it's not all that important it's more important if a million one persons watch you watch it's for the same. 10 seconds hey there's some, there must be something there yeah, there was, yeah. Uh, something's happening yeah yeah so um, a lot of people are confused about Dark Star Arts, and uh, I understand that. So let me explain that real quick. What kind of art do I sell? I'm a person that sells commissioned art, okay? Um, which means you can go on there. You can find my um, uh, you can find my email address is is on Dark Star Arts. You can find my email address. Send me an email. We can talk about what you're gonna do, what my schedule is like, what's going on, when I can do it, and how I can do it. How much money you have to spend on a big giant project or a little tiny project. Um, uh, Eric gone mad. I can't show you his project here because it ain't done yet, but he's one of the guys that I'm working on a fairly sizable mm. piece over here um, that's going to be going out to him and, and done fairly soon. But that's like somebody in the chat that has a piece that's going out. These pieces that are behind me right here, uh, I'm actually sending those out to the top Patreon subscribers that uh, that have the top Patreon patronizers, uh, which wasn't a dollar amount. It was essentially based on a date. So it was like mm, the first like length thing. Yeah. So the first 10 people like that, that uh, had patronized were the ones that essentially are getting some of that stuff. I like the that's dates two of those dudes lot. over there. Got two of them today. Uh, some of the other ones yeah. are in the chat right now uh, that are going to be sent out to. Uh, Nisi uh, is not going to get one, even though Nisi is a uh, uh, an important part of our little community here, right? I think we all agree that Nisi is important, want to but she ain't getting a shrimp. The fish life is the one that got me that rad mouse pad. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, so right. Sam the Fish Life is the one that got me the rad mouse pad I was Oh, the Fish there. Life right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. He's in the chat. In the chat. Does he have a channel? You should he check does. out his channel. He does. You bomb his channel. I feel like he's a 14 year old <clears throat> kid that is smarter than all of us combined. Oh. I think he knows like six languages and like he's a really smart kid. He's going to make me look foolish, right? Oh. I hope, hopefully, I don't ever. Yes. Well, maybe. I've met him. In maybe person if two I'm three lucky, I'm taller than him. Wait, and he's coming. Uh, he's he's probably gonna be one. Of, yeah. he's probably one of those freaky tall, like six tall. five dudes. Yeah, he's yeah. fourteen and like a hundred feet tall. Yeah, I'm he's one of, coming. I I'm, think I'm what you I'm what you call standard height human. Yeah, if you go if you go, if you go to the hospital, way. yeah, if you go to the hospital, they're like, hey, you're exactly as tall as you're supposed to be, and I'm like, great. Who the fuck made that thing? <laughs> like, what? How did this happen? You know, like, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those odd things. It's he's like, thirteen. What, he says, "What size I was are you?" Cutting him short. It's like, what, what, si what size is this? What's the standard? What's the regular one? Does is there a regular? Like, oh yeah, I have that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, hopefully, I was hoping I'd be taller than him. Maybe he'd be like nope. real short. And be like, that's right. I won at something. I mean, I have bad eyesight. Come on. You know, it's obvious. I mean, I'm like wearing glasses all the time. Can't even see. I thought you just wore those to look cool. I can't even win at seeing good. So you want to you want to hear a, a true story that I don't think I've ever told before on the internet. What's that? When I was building my store, uh, this is a true story. I was afraid that people were. This is before I had kind of like some gray hair coming in. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to be a young store owner and no one would take me serious, like that I owned it and that I couldn't know what I was talking about. So I went to Costco, like any uh, smart person would do. And I went to get my eyes checked, praying they were off enough to get glasses, thinking it would make me look older. Because <laughs> I ran into that at my old place where they're just like, aren't you like 22? Like, where is someone that really knows what they're talking right. about? And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to run into this all the time. And then they were like, yeah, your eyes are awesome. And you probably got at least like 10 more years. And they're like, he explained it to me. Oh, yeah. You know, like the 39, your eyes actually change shape. And right. that's what causes like your retina or your lens or something to distort yep. and all that but yes i literally tried to get glasses not to look cool but to look older so that it made my life easier oh you could have been uh you would you could have been one of those dudes that just got clear glass glasses so i considered <clears throat> that but that like broke my moral compass of like what now was i really feel fake like i was just hoping my eyesight was bad what movie was that oh it was like the it was the female ghostbusters where chris hemsworth is the stupid secretary yeah. dude yeah. And 
I mean, you know, Chris Hemsworth, he's freaking Thor, you know, I yeah. mean, and he's wearing glasses and then he goes to scratch <laughs> his eye through the, the glasses because there's no glass in them at all. <laughs> they're just frames. And he's just like, they're like, what's going on there? He's like, oh, I, th I thought they looked cool, you know, and yeah. you're like, what the fuck? Like, all right. Well, I have glasses just to do like job interviews. Oh, just so you look like wicked smart. <laughs> that, that's how, that's why I hired him. Glasses. Once he put them on. Yeah. Just to trick him. Yeah. So I look Asian smart. So you yeah. look Asian. <laughs> so you look all, I'm super Asian smart. Yeah. What up? Yeah. I wore out my eyes reading books, dude. What? Yeah, yeah. That's how he got hired by me. So well, I don't wear them on live streams, you know, cause you know, I don't, cause of the glare, you know, it's, you know, cause of the glare, I'm a cinematographer. Yeah. Okay. You know, you can't but just... then he said like, just so you know, here's my resume and I wear glasses. And I was like, hired. There you go. Yeah. Right. And the resume was actually just a napkin, like from Denny's folded up in an I envelope. Actually, I actually, I hired, over. I hired Jimmy to make me look older because he looks like he's 12. <laughs> right. So it ages me by a few years right. at least. By perspective. Even though he's right. only like one year younger than me and he looks like he's 15. That's the trick. <laughs> yeah. That's the trick. The glasses, they do nothing. Right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> these oh, these glasses do nothing. Um yeah secretly joel gillett's glasses do nothing oh speaking of joel gillett i don't know if anybody has seen sashimi whiskey's new uh he's got a new facebook group and i mm. sashimi whiskey something 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 with words and yeah. stuff he makes them as long as and you as find him on the facebook possible. it's yeah. a it's an artisanal it's it seems to be artisanal facebook group um mm, if you I'm go out. on there joel gillett put a uh he put a new uh, and I say air quote Photoshop uh, oh, no. of his uh, of his member of his new member badge, and hopefully Jimmy can grab it. And I don't know I, I don't know if he'll be able to stop laughing for the rest of the live stream because it is ridiculous <laughs> what he managed to put together. I would expect nothing less from Joel. <laughs> and he sent it in to like H HQ like this is his new badge, <laughs> his new badge. <laughs> and you got to read the explanation too. The explanation was what really puts it over the top. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> ah, Flynn's has got it there. Sashimi Whiskey and Co. Multimedia. Um, and Co. Multimedia. Oh, Dean H. with the with the Super Chat. Hello. Uh Three wonderful fellows together. A great collaboration. It's a great collaboration that tastes great. Not only tastes great, but it's less filling. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You get one more time. Exactly. So that's his artistic work. <laughs> it's Photoshop. Yeah, I mean it's Photoshop, mm -hmm. right? Um, so the the sad part is I can't pull that off. <laughs> you have to read the explanation out loud. Mm. All right, I will. And somebody's got to you got to got to read it. I got to get my new old voice going. Yeah, it's your accent. <laughs> no, no, I got to do it different. Oh. I just wanted to show off my editing skills. The place I work at requested photos for our new ID cards, but I didn't like the way I looked, so I stole Brad Pitt's mouth and chin and jazzed up my eyes a bit. I think he's got jazz hands, too. <laughs> Sent it in about two weeks ago, and I haven't heard back. <laughs> I'm actually more shocked you haven't heard back. That means no one's looked at it yet, because someone should have reprimanded you. Come on, Joel. We need you to be serious yeah, here. We're going to be serious. We're a you serious know? company. Or they we have TPS it. reports that need that covers on them. Me. They have we're... to do work they're not actually looking at. They're like, yeah, busy work? Make them all send in photos we're not going to use. Yeah. That'll that'll keep them busy for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that it was a gem. That's, I got the biggest laugh out of me this week. I, I like think, that. I think I was laughing by myself. That's how funny I thought I was. I think I was just sitting... I'm sure if somebody saw me from an airplane or something, they're like, there's an insane man down there mm -hmm. laughing at his phone. What's so funny? And then you show them and they're yeah. just like, yeah? I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I get jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, Aquarium Cowboy uh, has got to go. Sorry I didn't stay oh. long, though. I'll be posting a video later on. Thanks for the stream. Uh, and do not forget. Oh, don't forget Jimmy. Uh, liked and shared. by. See you all later. See you later, Cowboy. Thank uh, you, Cowboy. Thank you very much. Let's see. Did Jimmy and Corey get a two-for-one haircut special? You're dang I, right. I hope so. Yeah. Did you get a discount? No. No. You didn't, you didn't get the child discount? Oh. We, yeah. so, there was something. The when child, he first got child. here, he was like. You could have just acted like you were I remember his, his dad. When we went and to get just been like, the 280-gallon tank, he's like, hey, I could say I was. Because like the cutoff was like 14 or something. He's like, I could say I'm a juvenile to get. Like on the ferry cheaper. <laughs> I was like, nah, man, I think we don't need to lie. We just pay the $2 more. <laughs> yep. Well, here's one of the tricks when I was a kid. I used to get on the Edmonds Ferry. Yeah. 
which is probably the ferry you're talking about. And from yeah. the Edmonds side, it was not free. You had to pay even to walk on. That is true. So from, you walked backwards from onto the it? Other, from the other side, it's free. Mm-hmm. Well, I used to walk onto the Edmonds Ferry, and then here's the thing. If they catch you, what are they going to do? Throw you off a boat? True. And they can't even take money on the other side. So right. by there, you're like, ha <laughs> What are you gonna make me ride back to pay you, and then I'm it's not a, going back? Yeah, it was just uh, one of those sneaky tricks. But now, nowadays, now it is a I think it's a terrorist act or something like that. I think it's an act against yeah. I think they national, shoot you and throw you overboard. National security or something. You know, it's like the TSA. You know, you're gonna be a, you're gonna look, I'll lock you up in I'm jail always, for riding the ferry for free. Ferries anyway, our ferries are gonna sink at any moment. I just I feel like anything that was built that long ago i just get uneasy where i'm like this technology is 50 years old how are we not dying on the way across <laughs> right how are we, you know yeah. like how are we not dead yeah yeah because everything's kind of creaking and rusty and you're just like this we pay a, a a buttload of money to go across the water on this thing and this is the best we've come up with right and i do know that like buying a new ferry is like three billion dollars they're super fast they're super fast ones now though yeah yeah it's like hydroplane ones one more for um, Lumpy One Dog. More. Lumpy someone, Dog. Someone plug their grandma in. Lumpy Dog has a good. And you got two separate super chats. All right. We got two separate super chats? How's that? Huh? We I can't read. We got the Dean one. Oh, I got the Dean one. I keep said, it thanks. together, Jimmy. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. And uh, Eric Gonmad said, Corey, you should put Joel in your trunk and bring him to Chicago. Mm, and I'm don't... flying. I don't understand why I should. Uh, oh, whoops! I did that wrong, guys. Sorry. <laughs> why you're I'm not, supposed to why do it over here. It screws a, up in the video if I do it on why this you're one. Not, why you're not allowed to like ride normal? You just have to give yeah, me a trunk. Yeah. Well, first of all, I don't know why I would have to be put in a trunk. Mm-hmm. Economic status. That's the, that's. Oh, because I'm. Oh, right, right. Because yeah. I'm like, because I'm, I'm poor. I think I think that's what they're alluding to. Oh, because I'm like one of the newsies. Yeah. Right, so yeah. you got to throw me in the trunk. Okay, take me. But over eventually, when we get someone else, they go in the trunk, and then you move up to like rear seat. You know, that's how it goes. Oh, eventually you're drive you're driving the the van at some point. It just takes a while to get there. It's a yeah. You know, it's a seniority thing. But we did have a question here that popped up. Hey. Uh, Lumpy Dog was asking. This is this or was saying. This is the Seinfeld of live streams. Is there a topic or is this just improv? Vandalay Industries. This is this is Vandalay Industries <laughs> running hot tonight. We're running hot yeah. on this. Um, Let's like, bring the questions. As as I was kind of saying earlier, was that uh, a lot of our uh, our accumulated production time uh, was uh, handled by the Washington Washington Department of Transportation's mm. ill ability to create a road that people could drive down a, a speed faster than four miles an hour. Right, so uh, that really is where our production time went was driving around in traffic. So uh, it was just, just on the basis that have a special guest here, yuck it up, talk to you guys a little bit, and uh, yuck, and uh, yuck it up, and yuck with yucking, and you know, hang out with the dogs. Four a other bit. days a week, you can bring the content. Yeah, For pretty now much I bring the pain. Right, it's that. Yeah, pretty much it's every every other this. day of the week, I have it. We have a top. Most of, I think you you guys have a topic most often than I. I have I've been a topic getting lazy. I've been learning from you, and I'm just like, you know what? It's just joking it's just, around and talking about candy. Now that's a good time for me. Well, candy is strong. Candy yeah. is strong. We hit 100. 100. Oh, Warning. Yeah. Dive. Look dive. Look out! Quick, leave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and. Uh, Gone mad saying I should uh, I should go in the trunk and go to Chicago. I think yeah, you're flying. To I Chicago. am when flying. Is, when is Chicago? That's November third. Uh, November, right? November. If I, I was looking well, to, you can uh, come to Wisconsin. We leave on Monday. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> just so you're aware, we just, leave on Monday. You're welcome to come. Right, just be driving around. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm like I said before. Uh, people were asking if I'm going to go to that. People were asking if I'm also going to go to. Um, and I even said it earlier. Now I'm having a. If they Patreon hard enough, you'll go to Chicago. If people Patreon, yeah, if people Patreon hard enough, I will go to Chicago. Yeah. Um, realistically, probably cost yeah. you about a grand. So we got to get to patronize them. That's that's pretty much where we're at right now. Because <laughs> yeah. I've been and I know it costs about a grand, and it costs it might even cost you a little more at the late seats. Like oh geez, I'm just getting well, I'll to sleep it. in a trunk, you know. I'm, t- well, I'm, guy. I'm already sharing a room with Steen, Fott, and Jimmy. I was going to say, like, you're going to sleep on our floor. I'm like, well, I don't want to speak for my other guests. So. Let's get, get extra creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Could get Three weird. dudes is already weird. You get four Jimmy, dudes. Jimmy and I on the floor getting weird. Yeah. You know? And just get a little. 
Just get a little. Uh, well, we gotta have extra virgin olive oil. Right? I did get. Then, I did um, give him a roll away bed. We need a tarp. We need a tarp, and uh, you know, strip down, do a little Greco-Roman wrestling. You know, mm -hmm. see where things go. <laughs> you know, just a good workout, a little fun time yep. with all the boys. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about going to uh, Chicago. It is. It is. Uh, it is an option to go to stuff, but realistically, right now, I'm hamstrung by. Uh, uh, just financing, you know, realistically. Yep. Vicky and I went to Alaska early uh, earlier this year. That was kind of our, our bigger trip. We also went to Kentucky this year and uh, somewhere else, which escapes my mind. Uh, but most of our trips have to come uh, before the September, October, November, December period uh, because, well, it, this is today or tomorrow or Monday or whatever day it is coming up fairly soon is the beginning of Vicky's very, very busy season where mm. she does not get PTO. She cannot oh. go. She cannot go. Uh, well, she can't like request time off. Right, right, right. So it's she could get, dates, if she gets basically. sick, then, yeah. you know, they're not, they're not crazy like that. Yeah, but it's but, not easy to sell. Like, I want to go hang out with Fishner to Chicago. And they're like, yeah, right. work. Yeah. You're like, well, you have work to do. It's like, mm -hmm. well, I want to go look at fish tanks. And they're like, yeah. Yep. Good times. My wife's got like the same schedule, so that's why she can never attend anything. It's like, nope, we're it's game on now. <laughs> it's definitely, uh, definitely does make it uh, slightly difficult. Oh, Jimmy's yeah. not begging for attention. He's just. Everyone's asking me to do the robot, so I did it. He's just, he's just <laughs> attending. Jimmy can read, and he's a leg up on us. Uh, Jimmy is a part of the live stream. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have three microphones that can be hooked up at once because uh, I have. We have two USB mics, and we actually switched over to the mixer thanks to the Patreonizers. Mm -hmm. That was one of the Patreon goals that we had to get the mixer. It looks super cool. And I bought the mics myself, um, and but I need to get to another point to buy uh, two more XLR mics and uh, get the the uh, video card is actually the next thing in order to be able to run. Ooh, um, could you put a round table in here? This so camera. We can do a round table discussion with four mics. Well, actually, the uh, the, the the round the, table. The long term. The long-term plan is actually to use that table and this table so that everybody can sit side to side mm. uh, is my long-term goal. Because then we have one camera behind and one camera behind yeah. and then just shoot both people and both people then frame them up on there yeah. uh, that way. That, that would be the thing. Because then everybody's just talking to each person instead of like trying to go, which direction are you and what mm -hmm. am I? Oh, now I'm looking over there. Oh, hey, you know, yeah. and doing all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's the long term goal that would, which this will be built out that way, which is why, like, you know, the soundproofing has started crawling. <laughs> it's going to go it's all crawling. The way. It'll go all the way around the room. So eventually, even if there are five, six people in here or four people in here talking, it won't be reverberating onto everybody's mic. So that's the that's the long term goal right now. We're just yeah. uh, we're growing ever, ever so slowly. Um, you want to hop on the mic, Jimmy? People are no. requesting you. <laughs> Jimmy hates being on camera, by the way. Or at least behind the scenes, he's always telling me that. So maybe he's a good employee and he's like, no, Cody, I just want you to be in the spotlight. But it seems like he genuinely does not like to be in the spotlight. It so. stresses him out. Yeah. yeah. He so. gets stressed. He gets stressed. And, you know, it might be it might be an Asian thing, I think. Yeah. It I might like be. Yeah, he doesn't want to get the wrinkles. He doesn't want to. He's got to maintain. He's got to maintain his anonymity as long as possible because he is gonna, you know, not to, not to talk ill of anybody or anything like that. But um, one of my one of my best good friends, uh, Yoshiko, who has, is passed away now, um, was one of those gals that. It's like, is she twenty six? Is she sixty two? I have no idea a number and um you know and then i met her their her daughter who was at the time 35 and mm -hmm. i went i have no idea what's happening right now but about six months later yoshiko hit the wall she hit the she hit the proverbial asian wall where she suddenly just became an old lady and i was like yeah. oh my god it all makes sense now you're not I just, 27 oh my god like yeah. she just got gray hair and was just like oh yeah i'm the grandma i was been the grandma the whole time like her personality didn't change it just suddenly went like her aura just shifted to like oh it's it's grandma yoshiko oh now it makes it. sense yeah um and an un unfortunate part of the story is that she just randomly passed away one night um mm just randomly um her husband had passed away a long time before that uh, oh excuse so me. one after the other yeah um 
Yeah, but it had been about 10 years, but she, you know, one of the things that we talked about at being friends is that uh, just how lonely she was. She didn't have a whole lot of stuff going on uh, other than work. So she had a tendency to just kind of do too much work. Like she would really spend a lot of time working because she just didn't have much else going on. Um, and uh, I honestly, I think that's why she passed away in the night. I, you know, I was using that analogy. From, yeah. Just, you know, day. just from my own personal perspective of, some, of being friends with somebody um, like that. Uh, because her, all of her family lived really far away. All of her kids and everybody lived really far away. And, uh, so she just really had kind of had the job and stuff and it just seemed like she was just so lonely and it was kind of like, eh, well, why not? I'm kind of done. Yeah. I'm going to go do something else. Whatever it was, yeah. whatever it is, I have, I don't have the answer I've yet to be dead. Really? Well, there was one time, but <laughs> nothing happened. I don't have any cool stories. So oh, I, was, right. I was just dead. It's like I went to sleep and woke Fair up. Fair enough. Nothing cool. I didn't meet Jesus or anything. Hmm. It was just like waking up and it was real painful. <laughs> Although maybe it's worse if you had like a crazy story. Because maybe now you're just like, yeah, nothing mm. happened. But what if you like, you die and then you see something really weird. But then you come back to life and now you're fearful of that. Right. But maybe now you're fearful. That would you be a bad thing. That would be a bad thing. Because if let's say you died mm -hmm. and then you saw awesome stuff. Right. Maybe you're then excited. you'd be like, yeah, well, there's no reason to be here anymore. I got yeah. other stuff I got to go do that's awesome. Yeah. Or if you died and you saw really scary stuff, then you'd be like, afraid. Well, I don't know. Now I got to figure out. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this explains Elon Musk. Hmm. He's trying to figure out how to live forever, right? Right. Maybe he had. I would say that's had, the most likely a, scenario. Maybe he had a near death experience and he's likely. just trying to avoid the. The whatever happens after. Uh, Jim, Jim, right. Jimmy, uh, see, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, that's all I do. The gato, El, El gato, uh, 712 is saying, uh, Jimmy, I see a ghost in the dark hallway behind you. Um, oh, yeah, it's a shadow. Yes, that actually is a ghost. This house is haunted, and uh, it's kind of a creepy ghost, but not. Not extremely territorial. Just kind of wanders around and occasionally makes weird noises and freaks me out. Um, but it's a really old house. It's almost 100 years old, so something died here at some point in time. Uh, I don't know if it's a dog ghost or, or anything. Or it's my lovely spouse, Victoria, creeping around in the background. I hope it's that. One of those two. I hope she's making a ghost. Like... I hope it's she, the long she, con where she's like, she, I want him to think there is a ghost. She's slowly creating a ghost story yeah. in my mind for yeah. me to lose my mind even further. I can appreciate I a good trolling like that. Like a good real life it's long a strong, con trolling. It's a, str it's a strong move. You I'm just going to live here know. for the next 10 years. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you never see those ones coming like, really? You've been putting this together for seven years? Right. Yeah, I was, you know, I was a little bored. You were always in that room doing stuff. I, I had an hour to kill every day. We're gonna have all, yeah, I have this hour. <laughs> I gotta Where figure I knew out. you wouldn't come out of this room, and I could put this plan into action. Gotta figure out some sneaky projects. <laughs> yeah. I've gone mad with the super chat with no question. Ooh, just, just hitting you with the dollar ninety nine. Just a do, a buck ninety nine. A buck ninety nine. Holla one ninety nine. That should be the new thing. I want every time you get a super chat. You have to pick something that you know costs a dollar ninety nine and say you're gonna buy that. So like maybe dollar ninety nine, you're like, yes, I'm buying a fake McRib from AMPM. Like I'm, you have I'm to not, come up with how you're. I'm gonna, not gonna do that. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. You're not gonna buy it. But I don't like your it. idea. I don't like. I that. want you to come up with something funny you can buy at those price levels. Oh yeah, buck ninety nine. Well, yeah. we'd have. We also have to subtract the uh, exorbitant YouTube well, fee. <laughs> yeah, but that gets you know math gets hard. So you could be like the that. Math? I'm gonna buy. Does the math get super hard? It's forty percent. Oh, it's super hard. So you take eighty cents out. No. Yeah. <laughs> There's fractions. It's it's a fra <laughs> it's, it's it's fractal. I was trying I was trying to save you because the minute you start doing that, you know Glassbox or Joel Gillette is gonna just start dropping super chats of odd numbers to watch your brain math. Oh, do the maths? You're just, well, the problem with Gillette is that I have to convert it first from New Zealand dollars, which aren't even yeah. real. See, I try as to keep it simple. And it, no, no, we'll do it right. And then I, have to figure out, I have to figure out how many Kiwis you can fit in a bag. And I guarantee you he's crafty enough to find out how he can do it in different currencies. He's the guy. Well, he's the guy that he's already, that already does like the weird number. In. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's going to do that. And you're like, I, that is my first China Super Chat. How'd you pull that off? Yep. <laughs> oh, gone mad with the two dollar surprises. Surprises. That's how you got to do it every once in a while. When when Eric gone mad requests as a surprises, I got to yell 
so that he can uh, he can hopefully be in aisle number forty two at the Home Depot and freak out somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, Dean. Dean. Uh, what did Dean do? I don't know. It just says Dean. Dean. Or maybe just maybe that's high. And gummy bears. Uh, I see that too. You need a taco? Call nine one one. Nice. <laughs> that's smooth. I like that. Uh, dang it, Dean! Get back in the chat. Where Dean? is Dean? Wh where did Dean go? I, don't I think know. he's spreading the word of Corvus. Oh, maybe is he spreading the gospel. Mm, yeah, maybe. Oh, Mateo, did I scare your wife? Oh, I'm sorry. That is one of the glorious features here. Every once in a while, people get me to uh, shout random yeah, things in the background. Yeah, you think I do it's my best. I do my best to cover the mic. You know, if the mic's mic's too hot for y'all, but uh, I'll scare your dogs. Not my dogs. My dogs are right here. Look. They're accustomed she to doesn't, surprises. She doesn't, she doesn't care. Wherever Chips is, I don't know. He went somewhere. He's helping with ghosts. Where'd Mr. Chips go? I don't know. He's probably around somewhere. Ghosting. Uh, I, might, I might scare your dog. I might scare your mom. Who knows? Uh, I'll, I'll scare your mom. We are at the 55-minute mark. Whoa. Uh, so we have to do... Do, 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 do. I have to go over here and click do, 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 so, do. you guys get to look on the inside here and see what happens when I say I'm over here clicking the thing. Ooh. That's why I have to reach all the way over. Yeah. I'm a real fan now. Yeah. We get the insider look. You guys are so jealous. You should be so jealous of this. It looks like computer screens mm -hmm. where I read words in English. I wish I had this screen. Actually, I have to make it, I have to make it smaller. Now it's just oh, there you could scroll. We could. All right. So I got to give a shout out to all of the Patreonizers. If anybody's mm. confused with the Patreonizer is, it's how we fund this, uh, this who's what's it, if that makes sense. Uh, and I don't want you guys to just go running out the door uh, because we have super chats coming in. We're going to answer those and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sure. We ain't leaving uh, anyone hanging. Well, let's start at the top of the list at the $250 mark unmatched with his uh, uh, reigning supremacy of breaking super mm. chat. Uh, Not bad. Corey from Aquarium Co-op, who happens to be right over there. It was in the name of science. I didn't know it was, it was in the like name. Yeah. Uh, well, so did to you be just fair, do the max? You hit the max button to see so what So here's how it went down. I think I, I did some number, which was like $7 or something for you that day. Earlier, right? Right. right. And then I was like, oh, yeah? Watch this. $500. And it wouldn't let me do it. Right. It That's because like, no. I assumed the cap was like $500 at one time. I thought I could do more than five hundred. But it's but just no. it's in a they day. They literally assume I think that you've stolen a card at that point. Right. Like, no, no, we're cutting you off at five hundred. Right. They think they think that someone has their has their co um uh, their credit card stolen. Yeah. And that they're laundering money. That's, Which is why you should watch Ozark. If you haven't seen Ozark, you I should haven't. watch that movie. It's fantastic. Yeah, that I show. Haven't. It's a show. B, I don't know what you're doing. That's what I'm doing, though. I like to steal credit cards and then super chat other people. Lick something else. Thank you. It's the worst way to use a stolen credit card. Right, that has, to, that has to be the easiest tracking. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, here it you is. You logged right in here. from here and did this. And you logged not in this from time. this site and sent it to this person. Yeah. Uh, Steam Font Aquatics with the one dollar super chat. Ooh. But let's get back to the Patreonizer yes. and Wushu will answer your question or whatever that it says here in a second. Uh, at the twenty dollar mark, we have the uh, sashimi whiskey who is also over there doing a, a, a little. Jimmy Little Dance. And Whoa, so, I didn't realize. Bring I don't know if you guys show. noticed, but he was over there. He racked up 132 push-ups when you guys weren't paying yeah. attention. That's why he was showing uh, the guns off. Which is kind of amazing, actually. I'm surprised that he doesn't compete. Uh, Long Wu at the $20 mark and Steven Scogland, who had to leave earlier. Mm. Uh, at the $10 mark, we have Joel Gillett out of New Zealand. Matt Gilmet out of, uh, damn it, Ohio. Uh, Jack Betts from somewhere. Cichlid Bro, our favorite Canadian. Uh, M. Den Hollander, our favorite, uh, what's he from? Denmark? What does that make you? Denmarkian? <laughs> Danish. I'm impressed you can remember where everyone comes from. I would not uh, be good at this. Karen Howard is new, and we don't know where Karen is from yet. Eve Daigle is, uh, we thought he was Quebec, but he's not. He's from Alberta. Uh, Pamela Earlywine is from the mountains somewhere. Kyle Wildewelt, we can't even find him on Facebook. Kevin Hayes from uh, Florida recently moved to Indiana. Jean Fenske is a mystery to everyone, but her last name is pronounced Fenske, not the way I was saying it before. Uh, Jennifer J. Sarchicino, a uh, transplant from Washington down into Nevada, and Karen K. Z. Ellis, who will stay anonymous other than her name. 
Uh, we have the two cheapskates down here. I like to call them the cheapskates, two of my favorite Matthews around. Uh, 3D Reefer, who's probably being super mad at me right now for calling him a cheapskate out there be. in Detroit. Uh, but if, if you guys go through the old videos here, you guys can find some of the videos when I went out to his house and visited Whoa, him. Oh, you've been to the Super um, Chatter's house. Or not Super Chatter. Patreon, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's Matt Weber. That's why I'm saying mm. that he's a cheapskate and giving him a hard time because uh, he's a buddy of mine. We talk on the phone all the time. Hell, I flew to his house in an aeroplane and we slept in his spare room. Both of you together? <laughs> couple dogs that's i'm just saying that's a little weird when you fly to someone else's house and they no. don't sleep in their bed they victoria sleep. and i went oh it was pretty cute we're such good friends i even let him meet victoria wow which is just tough that's tough i to just make. leveled up in status um, but the two victoria. matthews down there at the one dollar mark thank you very much a uh, very much a uh, very i do very much i thought of a it. new way for everyone to troll you i'm just gonna put it out there right now you can become a patronizer with a crazy name that he's got to pronounce like every time that is worth the money alone. That's pretty. M it's, it's like a it's like I, a Simpsons thing. Change your name every time, like to a Seymour. I do have to say, M. Den Hollander is pretty. Yeah. Is pretty rough. Yeah. And do you know what his YouTube handle is? No. Justs Bob. Justs Bob. Yeah, it's not just mm. Bob. Justs just Bob. Bob. Plural. Yeah. Plural justs. <laughs> but I wonder if you could change your name like every month to be like you know just random funny thing that you have to say. Well, that's yeah, that's possible. That actually, I that's think that's a good way. A, that's, that's a good, good way to do it. Yeah, that's that's um, fun and if, as long as you're clever about it, like don't make it something horrible. But you're like, oh, I see what you did there. All right, touche. Right, touche. You know? Yeah, touche, good sir. Touche. Like I could be instead of aquarium claw, you'd be like Jimmy is smelly for like a month. <laughs> you know, like that's that's the good use of evil power. Jimmy, know? Jimmy stank feet need tough acting to acting. Yes. I don't know if that'll fit in there, but we could try it. You we'll know, we need to find goes. the limitations of the naming. You can see how far it'll let you go. <laughs> it's like, a paragraph. Many, You're like, many, dang it. So now we many. have to start the 50 minute mark. Yeah, so, of <laughs> yeah we just have to keep going. It's like a, well, it's a short story now, so we'll yep. be uh, page 89 before. We're gonna add a word on each week. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but you could always check. You could always see how many how many characters I guess fit in there. But always remember, uh, if you are a patronizer, make sure that you put in a um, an email address that is current, mm -hmm. uh, because we have run into that problem recently that uh, basically somebody put their spam email in there. Uh, I don't do anything with the emails. I don't send them out. I don't sell them to anybody or any of that kind of nonsense. Uh, but I may or may not use that to send you a message uh, to send you an email. Uh, to find out if you may or may not want to get something, possibly. Like, it, like, a fair deal. like I needed uh, needed a mailing address, right? And I'm yeah. like, send it out, and it was a little confusion, little confusion. But we did figure it out. So just make sure you have uh, you put one on there. Uh, the Patreon guys don't resell your information either, so just make sure you have a good one on there. Good people. Uh, Wushu Jimmy Brown with the five dollar super chat. The old Wushu Jimmy Brown. We like Wushu here. Uh, you guys are awesome, but I may, uh, but. I buy way too much from Corey, and I think Corey needs an ice cream to <laughs> soothe his throat after having two live streams today. Thank you. That's a good point. That's a good point. I we, think we do have ice cream cake at our house. People do. Birthday. People around these parts definitely do need to be eating some ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, gone mad with the six 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 yell surprises at Corey. <laughs> surprises. <laughs> Luckily, he's on the wrong side. It would have been funnier if I literally like, tackled Jimmy right there. Like, <laughs> like a full on, not just pretending like it's Jimmy's good. just like. <laughs> nope. Well, he wouldn't have gotten up. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I would have snapped him in two. Oh, sorry. No wonder that's so loud when I do it tonight. I don't have the compression on at all. So I should <laughs> probably turn that on in the future. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it probably does get a little loud. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kismodus Aurelius is ask, asking for an extension. We'll probably stay on for a minute here because we mm. do have to get through some of this stuff. Uh, Kayla uh, C. The Nano Chick. I do like that handle. That's a good one. Kayla C. The Nano Chick. It lets you know. Nano tanks abound. Yeah. What's uh, just checking if my card works. Well, confirmed. It's confirmed. It seems to work. Actually, it went right through. Yes. Um, Priscilla MK Art, oh, one of the one of the fan favorites around, does a lot of fantastic art uh, for people. I Indeed. think she did. Did she do stuff for you guys, right? Yeah, she did for you and Jimmy, right? Uh, my brain doesn't. Or maybe I got that, that wrong. Hard. Maybe I, I got that wrong. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, the Amazon. Stuff for other YouTubers. And right. I got the 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 Black Aranda. Yep. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, she does does a bunch of mm-hmm. a bunch of artworks. Another respected artist, unlike me. I Slightly. think there was a couple of one dollar super chats from the Steamfot too, somewhere. Yeah, Bob yeah, Steamfot was throwing in the one dollar super chat. He, he chats, likes the money people. He didn't say to send anything in. He's just throwing stripper you actually, dollars. When at you us. only spend a dollar, you can't. What's that? At a dollar. Oh, at a you, dollar. You only let you type. A dollar, you just get. You props. can only make it rain. Yeah. You can just make it that's, rain. That's Steamfot's thing. He likes those, those dollars to rain down. If you want to <laughs> say a message, just, you know you're getting spammed by the one dollar. You just make it hail. Yeah. You just throw some change. Mm-hmm. Uh, that works. Ow, the quarter's hurt. Yeah, it's hailing. <laughs> it's hailing at the strip club. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ronnie Cole, I have a fish question. Where are all the fish tanks in Star Wars? Uh, they're in Star Trek, but none in Star Wars. Deep thoughts? J.J. Uh, Abrams doesn't like Deep fish space. tanks. Uh, I think that's really what it comes down to. Oh, Steam Font's doing the $1, $1, $1, $1. Yeah, oh, okay. I told you. He's making yeah. it rain. It's hard for me to track the alerts when other people are here. Track the chat. I'm honestly better at it when I'm here by myself. <laughs> we'll let that one go. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I'm very. I very. I like to give myself compliments that don't that mm-hmm. don't go over well. Yeah. What do you guys think? Is that uh, true? Yep. Silence. <laughs> uh, fish hashtag fish fam has any. Uh, has, has any of the fish fam got any news about Jenny at Solid Gold? She lives in Florida. Last uh, I saw was the generator picture. Oh. She posted on like Instagram or Facebook, I think, of uh, power was out, generator was running, but otherwise nothing like catastrophic yet. Right. Well, I, I say yet like I'm expecting it to happen. I'm just saying no update to indicate anything was wrong other than power's out. And there's a generator, which if you're a fish keeper... You're sitting pretty good if you got a generator, right? So yeah, I think you're you're pretty solid there. You got some air pumps and mm-hmm. stuff, things going on. Um, I think I don't. Am I thinking of the right person? I I don't really I don't I don't ever have any interactions with her, but I uh, I had uh, my YouTube was on just like playing videos and i think one of hers came on and yeah, it was on old and man I, mode and i saw yeah it was on old man mode it's just, just, it just playing. i watch what yeah. comes on the it, screen i watch what happens and the stories come at me mm-hmm. um and uh so i was but the i clicked off the video i didn't watch until the end uh but she was like packing up all of her fish in a box to send to some lab that was the only thing i saw so yeah, i don't know she's still battling some goldfish crud um i think a lot of up. i think a lot of people in florida i think most people were pretty safe this time around so i, I didn't i haven't heard of like a ton of deaths or any destruction or anything kind of crazy like that so uh luckily we managed I feel like it's mostly surface damage like there was some farms that are like like the Florida Aquatic Nursery, they lost like the plastic covers to their mm-hmm. greenhouses, which, to be fair, you replace those like every five to seven years anyway, so it's probably not like catastrophic. Not that big of a deal. And like the actual thing didn't blow away, and then there was like, uh, well, destruction was a little bit worse at, uh, what was it, uh, Mike Drardy, what is this, uh, Imperial Tropicals. They had some trees come down on some stuff, and you know, the, the problem is like, that's just what happens depending on where you live. You've got obstacles and that's a part of business and it sucks but yeah you know it it wasn't it, it, horrible. I, I think any of those guys that are down in florida um you know i hope everyone is safe and everything is fine uh mm-hmm. but like the discus farm i was looking at they only had a loss of like seven percent of their discus yeah was that a jack Watley's uh, or whatever? i think so yeah, yeah. they yeah. i mean they played it up with that huge picture of like look at all these dead discus and then right. like Followed up with like, yeah, that's seven percent. Yeah, the explanation was this isn't very many fish out of three thousand, so mm-hmm. it seemed to work out pretty well. And you know, if if there's a little bit of monetary damage, well, uh, I'll just show them my water bill that I've been paying over the last, um, you know, forever, and uh, and then I we could just we could just offset the cost that way because they don't most of those guys don't have to pay water bill. Um, so, you know, a lot of the operational costs in Florida are a little bit cheaper, but the bad side is sometimes a hurricane blows through and all your snakes end up in the river. Yep. And then the ecosystem's ruined because all the snakes are not even from Florida. And Clapsaddle in Texas. Now there's gators and crocodiles in there. He just cut his greenhouses. He literally went and cut the thing so it wouldn't pick up and lift away. Right. So, you know, they're, most people, like, you know, they're used to, like, oh, this is coming, here's what we do. You know, it's I, I'm much more, I guess, worried about like some of the Puerto Rico fans and stuff like they haven't necessarily had to board up and stuff like that before. So like, but the people that, you know, if you live in Florida, you pretty much get that threat. It's coming through. You got a game plan. It's when you go, huh? 
we don't get hurricanes here. You right. know, that's way mm-hmm. more like, what do you mean Home Depot's out of the, plywood? Oh, it'll turn. You know, yeah. and you're just counting on it turning away, whatever. But so yeah, that's it's, always problematic. As a business, anyway, I guess to wrap that all up, I feel like it's the same reason I own three generators more than I need, but my business relies on it. And not that I'm hoping the power goes out, but if I don't plan like it might, I will be in a horrible position. And I feel like most other farms and businesses are set up similar. Like, yeah, you need to have a disaster plan in place. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just any business should have a disaster plan in place. I mean, I've, um, Oh, here's here's a weird story. I actually worked at this weird restaurant. I don't and believe it. The reason that it's a weird story is, let me explain why it's weird. The roof flooded. So, like the downspouts are not big enough to. No, the roof flooded. So it's like a basement restaurant. Nope. Okay. Oh, so the roof was maintained. The roof was fine. The roof didn't have a leak. Okay. But the sprinkler system had a leak in between the roof and the ceiling, right, of the restaurant. Now, the ceiling in the restaurant had been completely sealed, right, because of the HVAC and all that stuff in there. The ceiling, obviously. Well, it had been, it had been, it it, uh, it had a different fire block because, you know, occupation with with the equipment and stuff. Yeah. So the sprinkler system had sprung a leak above the fire suppression Mm -hmm. and had leaked into the roof. Until it or into the, the ceiling, so the the basically the the ceiling flooded. Yep. And so the whole entire building started doing this. The building? Because <laughs> it had that much weight. I mean, how many? It was two foot of water up there. Wow. So when they opened up the hatch to go up into the the ceiling, or up into the the crawl space up there, like it was just you couldn't move it. Was it like when you're? Is because it like I had every all that water submarine on. movie ever where they're like they finally open the door? And <laughs> I, I wish, but they actually had to to go in because they couldn't. You couldn't get through there, so they ended up cutting a hole through the ceiling, and then it came through, mm. like in uh, in one of the dining rooms. But it was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, it's just a uh, as a business, you should always be carrying insurance, and you just never know what's going to happen because the 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 ceiling could flood, essentially. That's oh. one. That's what I'm not prepared for. I'm not prepared for a ceiling flood. Mm-hmm. We got the $15 super chat from Rat Cross saying five bucks a piece for the three guys enhancing my quality of life right now. T-Y-V-M. And I don't know what that means. Thank you very much. Oh. You got to get with the super chat speak, bro. Oh. You only get so many characters. Yeah, but at $15, you could probably write in thank you very much. Maybe, but at 20 (laughs) <laughs> like as a guy that does a super chat or two it does right. limit you it's like it sometimes you're you. like well i need to donate more money because i want to type out my I gotta words. type out more words in yeah. here yeah. yeah and then you almost feel you know i probably i should have i should have copied and pasted something ridiculously long on the 500 hundred dollar one Uh-oh. i bet you would have allowed me a lot well let's see flynn flynn fish forum says can you please yell surprises not me me Corey. Corey. oh can you do it can you do it off mic me 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 <laughs> <laughs> surprises that's pretty good i think i scared your, i did scare your dog he doesn't know my yeah. surprises I'll he was not him. ready chips was I'll, not ready. I'll scare your dog <laughs> he was not ready for the level of my surprises that's right oh but chips he wasn't scared I'll, I'll chips unfazed yeah i wouldn't say scared he just was like whoa you do that too <laughs> yeah oh you make all these crazy loud those. noises yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you're not a quiet human uh, my Nemo phone case. Jimmy playing with his toy. Oh, that's his Nemo he's phone dra- case. He's ninja walking. Is it dragon walking or ninja walking? Ninja walking. ninja walking. Just like this little guy right here. Yeah. The little ninja guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like Ninja Gaiden. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, we are at the one hour and 13 uh, minute mark. And uh, so we got to wrap this sucker up. I have to go pick up, up a van. And uh, I have to cook dinner for my bride mm-hmm. or she'll get super hangry and stab me like a ninja. I'm hoping you get out uh, here alive. Like an actual, like, you know. Actual ninjas. Like a ninja, yes. Like the picture of the ninja right over there. Mm-hmm. And, that no one else can see. They yeah, just think you're insane. It's no one most else. YouTubers I can have never see seen it. that. Oh, most they haven't? Most people probably don't pop out their chat to a big screen and do all that. They probably have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, well. When you pop out, there's a guy with a sword right there. You get the YouTube ninja. There's a guy right there. There's a YouTube ninja right Mm -hmm. there. Uh, Maybe you'll see it on the video that Jimmy makes. Yeah. YouTube ninja. Uh, But either way, we look forward to doing more of this uh, collaborative stuff. Um, If you guys want to do more, uh, the easiest way to do that is, uh, like I said, 
um, to go to the Patreon, all that kind of stuff, mm. uh, help the support. It just avails me more time to be able to occupy uh, with doing this kind of stuff and making more stuff for you guys. That you know, uh, I don't. I honestly don't necessarily make this stuff for myself. I hope to spread some of the knowledge of me just sitting around reading books like a dork all the time uh, to be able to pass it on to some other people and uh, hopefully uh, help some people that may or may not be having problems. Um, you know, I'm not the oldest guy in the world, but a lot of people out there, I've got a, I've got a room good, and I was like, yes, you are. I've got a good 20 years <laughs> on a lot of people and uh, I've been through a lot of uh, humdrum. So try and trying to just necessarily help the people out there that, that may or may not need help. So uh, yeah. that's the easiest way to do it. Um, as uh, people were saying earlier, I need to go to Chicago. I would love to go to Chicago. I'd also love to go to the uh, the uh, big reef, Reef of Palooza. I'd love to go to Reef of Palooza uh, and go down there and just uh, yak with those guys and shoot video for y'all. But um, uh, we'll see if we can't fund it to get down there. And uh, I can go down there and be a representative ish. Represent? <laughs> representative ish. Uh, and just walk around and uh, bug we all the people like there, like Ecotech. Like, Where, what are you? Ecotech is the guys that want to go bug. So anybody yeah. out there knows anybody from Ecotech? Wa fair warning. You may <laughs> I'm be on bothered. the way to talk to you. You may may be bothered by this guy or my alter ego when you see me wearing a cowboy hat. That's Gerald. Look out. Mm. Right, mm. uh, but uh, I want to give a shout out to all the uh, super chatters from tonight. Uh, gone, Eric gone mad, uh, Potato Bro, our uh, our moderator from uh, Portland, uh, Stephen Scogland, one of the OGs around here, been around for years and years. Uh, let's see, Joel Gillett, aka Glass Boxes from uh, New Zealand, uh, Dean H. Great to see you out here, Dean. It's been quite a while. Uh, Steen Fawn Aquatics making it rain uh, like we's at like we's up in the club is we up in the club yeah uh, Mushu Jimmy Brown thank you very much uh, one of our OGs Priscilla MK uh, Kayla the Nano Chick uh, Kismos uh, Kiz Kim Kim Sotas Aurelius uh, you know I should if I have a if I have a Latin handle I should probably be better at the uh, Latin myself right probably maybe mm. Mm, who knows um, uh, Kayla, the nano chick again, and uh, Rack Cross, and everybody else that doubled up like Eric Gone Mad. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Um, let's this see. This is how we get stuff done. Money is fun. So uh, everybody's saying, everyone in the world said it was the best stream they've ever seen in their entire life. It was the most entertaining thing that's ever happened well, to I'm them. I'm not going to argue with that. And, uh, you know, I have to agree, you yeah. know, up until uh, tomorrow's live stream, basically. Uh, Five tomorrow, out of four dentists tomorrow, Tomorrow's live stream will up today's live stream to a whole new level. I would expect so. I would. And then just the ongoing, right? Because you guys, you guys are getting ready on Monday to take off for... Uh, I keep what is it cataclysm? I keep forgetting cataclysm. the name of it, but look, it, it, maybe if I talk long enough, eventually my memory will start drawing out the names of things that I constantly. I've already, forget. I already pre-ordered and paid for some rare fish that I am going to attempt to keep alive in a sterilite tub in my van for about at least a week while I visit other fish rooms and drive back to my house. In a van down by the river? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to be in a van down it's, by the river. I've got to devise a plan. I'm thinking cycled sponge filter. Uh, power inverter and lots of hope because water changes i'm thinking from state to state all those different water parameters like just no just go with it and hope for the best and just see what happens and they're fish that i can't get otherwise that's the reason you go to one of these conventions but they're l494 plecos which are like right. something that like never shows up and then these other things i can't remember the name i just know when i see them I'm like those are the things that always show up emaciated and die when i try and order them and these are uh, tank bread that I want to bring back, and you will see when I when I kill them on the road. Oh, right, yeah. Well, <laughs> you hopefully, will see me crying. Well, yeah. hopefully, I mean they're fairly durable plecos, so maybe they'll be able yeah. to. Uh, no, I mean I'm going to put every reasonable chance, and I wouldn't buy them if I actually thought I was going to kill them. I think it'll be fine. Uh, well, but, I think I think honestly, know. I mean if you're if you're aerating and um, uh, dosing prime as you go along, I, I, I think you should be relatively decent temperature and it'll be a yeah. cycled sponge filter i think i'll be okay yeah but, i think it'll be fine you know i wouldn't do it if i just was like let's just see what happens you know i wouldn't be investing a couple <laughs> Damn, so, hundred dollars oh, in these fish oh, wacky wacky woo woo hey. yeah you know just doing whatever like yeah that yeah they didn't probably. do so well in a brown paper bag who knew yes yeah, who knew who, waterproof who knew? bags those are what you use i put them oh. in the glove box where they'd be safe yeah well, no one would steal them mm -hmm. yeah locked it um, all right, guys. So we're going to wrap this up for today. Hope everyone has a fantastic Thursday. Yeah. Uh, don't be a ridiculous jackass and light off fireworks in the middle of the night. Or I am coming out. At, I'm coming out there in my boxer shorts with my mop handle, and we're going to have... 
We're going to have mm. a heyday around Words. here if someone does that again. Row ads. That damn fireworks in the middle of the night. It scares <laughs> my dogs. It's not cool. Uh, what if you just shout surprises at them? No, I do. You shout surprises yeah, at but the fireworks. I'm, I'm people? in my underwear. Mm. Yeah, this, that's effective. <laughs> I would imagine so. It brings like, the visual. He's not yelling. Is he yelling at us? That's just surprise. Is that good or bad? <laughs> good or bad? Or are the fireworks surprising him? Well, then it's. But then you know, I'm almost naked, and then they realize, yeah. oh, it's bad. Mm. It's not good. That see, I didn't know that's what discerns. Because yeah, I got my underwear and my Uggs on. That's it. So when you show it's up my house play. and you're naked and you yell surprise, I know I'm in some trouble. It's a trouble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there are rules. Because right? you have yelled surprise at my house at this point, but you were fully closed. I was fully so closed. So I was, was in just, the safe zone. Everything was just relatively okay. normal. Uh, to those of you out there that enjoy your eardrums, get ready for the end of the show because uh, we, uh, we have a tradition here where we get hot on the mic and say, Later. Find the button around here somewhere.